Hi, this is Dr. Kimi Sato, and this one is to continue on body assessment specific to the mobility, and we're gonna focus on the trunk range of motion. The first one of the trunk rotation is to do it without the gravity, and what we do is the keeping the knees closer to each other so you don't have a whole lot of effect from the trunk rotate and then the hip to move. So making sure that the hip is in a place when you actually do this. So elbow should be straight and hand on the floor side and then you keep your hands the whole time on the floor to rotate through. So when you actually do this properly, your hands should be touching the floor the whole time when you're actually going through. And when you have your chest and then shoulder facing up in a vertical direction, you have a very good range of motion. Typically what we find with a limited range of motion is when you do this, your hands get stuck in the middle of the way because you have no rotation from there. So you can see that the, you don't have a very good movement pattern from the spine, but also if you have inability to do retracted shoulder position, meaning that the, if you have bad posture on the upper body like this, it's very hard to retract the scapula. In result, you cannot move. So you see this pattern often that the people who have a limited range of motion in a trunk rotation, you cannot get to that position because you cannot keep your hands on the floor. The first spine rotation examination is to make sure that you can move this against the gravity. So what you do here is first, you actually kneel down and then hands on the floor and then keeping the knees closer to each other. Because what's gonna happen if your knee is away from each other, you have a spine arch, especially in the lower back area. So when you actually do this, the elbow should be straight, meaning that you keep your hands straight the whole time, and then the hand should be back of your head the whole time. And then when you do this, the alignment of the arm to arm should be 180 degrees. So when you actually go from here and then go up, go up, go up, you're trying to be 180 degrees. And then when you do this, if you have a very restricted motion, means that the, you cannot move this against the gravity, meaning that the, you don't have a very good core control. So make sure that the, when you actually do this, you open up the chest should be facing 90 degrees. So you have here this position and then make sure this chest is facing 90 degrees. That's a complete openness from the trunk rotation. And then also people who get stuck here, they don't have a very good retraction from scapula. So again, that this one actually connected from the, the previous assessment you did for scapula retraction if you are hunched over position, if your upper back is kind of hunched over, chances are you have a very good movement, but not so much to be able to open up because you have this posture. So you have a very good position of approach action, but are not very good on retraction. In result, you'll be able to open only here. You cannot open anymore from that position.